Screen Team Media. I am Lisa Lampanelli, known as Comedy's Lovable Queen of Mean, soon to be Broadway actress. I wanted to be on Celebrity Apprentice because first of all, it'll help my career. Second of all, it'll help my charity. Or vice versa, or whatever, who cares? The only nervousness I had coming onto the show was meeting all these loud Italians. Because I'm a loud Italian, and I lived with them, and was raised by a couple of them. So we are talking about people like Teresa, like Victoria Ghani, even Adam Carolla, that big mouth Italian. Come on, I'm a little scared. But you know what? I can handle myself. My competition so far, I feel, is, eh, it could go either way. You got Adam Carolla, you got Penn Jillette. These guys are geniuses. I figure I'm a little scared of them because they can maybe beat me. But then again, I'm abroad, who's also a genius, and I did roast Donald Trump twice, and he still talks about it and likes it, so I got a leg up. I ran my own business as a comic for over 20 years, and here's the deal. You do it all by yourself. Assistants come and go, travel agents come and go, but I do my work for me 24-7. So I juggle tasks. Like, I'll take a task, I'll do the whole thing myself. They think they need a team of broads? No, they need one broad as the whole team. I'll run the whole freaking show. This is what they don't get. I bring this and this and a lot more stamina. Look, I grew up in the comedy business. I'm used to type A's, I'm used to type F's, believe it or not. So you know what, none of these people scare me. The only thing I'm willing to do to win is one, work hard. Cause nobody works harder than LL, Lisa Lamp and Alley. I'm sick, I'm crazy. I will stay up 36 hours, I don't care. I don't need sleep, I'm like Superman, I swear to God. Second thing I bring to the table, and I don't care if they like it or not, honesty. I will tell the truth. If he says who was crappy on the task, I'll throw you all under a freaking bus because I'm driving that bus and I'll ride right over you. That's what LL brings to the table. I think at this point, comedy is going to come in handy for me in two ways. First of all, it's got all these broads scared of me because they say, oh, she could ruin us with one word, which I wouldn't anyway. That's on stage, not off. So I'm nice. And I think that's a good secret weapon as the second thing, which is like, I'll kill you with kindness. You won't see it coming then I'll stab you in the freaking back. Then I won't, then I will. This boardroom only scares me in one aspect. That is, is if I have to stand. Because they have the broad sitting, then the one standing. I don't, I don't wear heels a lot, okay? Mr. Trump, you gotta let me sit down, okay? The old you are, me, Victoria Gotti, we gotta be sitting in the front because we're old broads. The other thing that worries me maybe a little bit is I think this Mr. Mr. Trump, despite him liking me and my sense of humor, he could be a little bit vicious. I think he might throw an insult my way. I'm going to have to come back. Will he like it? Like he did at the roast? Who knows? It's weird. I really honestly think I'm going to win. I have a delusion that I will really get in the finals of this and win because I have an inflated sense of my own genius and self-importance and of my sense of humor, and I think I'm just gonna wow everybody with my womanly wiles, charm, and sense of humor, that they'll be like, oh my God, you are the clear winner. I'm Lisa Lampanelli, and I'm gonna be the next celebrity apprentice because I work hard, I tell the truth, and I'll throw you under a bus if I got to. It's all about me.